Hi everyone, Skalk here. Today I want to show you how to create your own favicon for your website. Now first of all, what is a favicon? Now if you have a look at Facebook here, you can see that this icon right here is called a favicon and that is the actual icon that's associated with the branding of Facebook. So let's say for example I've got loads of tabs open here at the top and I would like to identify which one of these tabs is associated with Facebook then it's very easy to find because of a favicon which is created. Also if somebody bookmarks your website then also it's very easy for them to see where your actual website is located within the bookmark section because of a favicon that's created. And also, it's very good for the search engines as well, for search engine optimization. And that's the reason why I would like to create a favicon. So let's go ahead and let's create our own personalized favicon. So I'm going to use Canva today to create that and show you how simple it is to use Canva to create a favicon. Also note that Canva is 100% free to use. So I'm going to click on create a design. I'm going to choose custom dimensions. I'm going to go for 100 by 100 because that is what is recommended. Create a design. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on elements. I'm going to click on the square. I'm going to just fill out the white area. I'm going to choose my color. I would like to use gold. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the percentage to 100%. Next I'm going to add some text, so I'm just going to click on add a heading. Now I want to get rid of all of the text here because all I would like to create is a personalized favicon. I'm just going to use my first two initials. Say for example my name was Michael Chamberlain. I'm just going to use MC is what I'm going to use, capital MC is what I'm going to use here. Just drag it into here and I'm going to change the font to Lato, if that's what I like. I might make it Lato bold and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, I might make it 36 and just drag the position a little bit better around about here. There you go. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now save this. I'm going to go on publish and when you're going to publish this I'm going to click on download and I'm going to do PNG because that's, that's what's suggested and that's what I'll be going to use here. So that's the quality that you would like to have. And I can simply just click on that and I'm going to go download. My next step now is, is to go and upload it. So what I'll do is I'll go to my actual dashboard here. This is of this particular uh, website in Bird UK. So I'm going to just go into my website here under Avada. It depends. Your website is going to be different. It depends on what kind of theme you're using for your WordPress. Where you're going to find the area to upload your favicon. I'm using a theme for my WordPress website called Avada. So for me, I need to go to theme options and then you will find, if you just scroll down a little bit, you will find here's your logo and there's my favicon. If I click on that, you can see that's my favicon that's uploaded at the moment. I'm just going to click on upload here and now I will be able to upload my files and I will be able to go to my downloads and I might just be able to hopefully locate it here somewhere. Here we go, and I'm going to upload it. And I'm simply just going to say select, and I'm going to say save. And I'm going to refresh the page and see what happens. So here's the actual website. You can see at the moment this is the favicon we have. If I just refresh this website now. Let's see what happens. And there you can see the favicon now uploaded and there's my branding, Michael Chamberlain. So that's as simple as it is to create a favicon using Canva.
And you can do exactly the same as well if you've got a particular image that you have already, a logo image that you have for your particular site, then you can just simply just drag that into the square I just showed you, do exactly the same thing, and then you'll be able to, for example, create a favicon like this one I created for this particular website of mine. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment below. Have a fantastic day. Take care.